when okay, I have stop, meetings stop. and no. Zooms, yeah, let's do, let's I, do. in my head, I'm already I'm like crying. premeditating I'm the word I'm trying to say. I, I was talking to someone mm-hmm. and then I watched their story and then they posted some girl, <sighs> Harry. Yeah. I DM the girl. Oh my God. She, what did you say? This is where it No, gets... Maz, you didn't do that. The, yeah. the basis of what people are building relationships off are not real. This person's good looking. This person's got a great job. Yeah. This person smells good. But have you ever spoken to that person about depression or anxiety yeah, or stuff that yeah. really happens yeah. when you're in a relationship? Like when you see your child, it's like, it's a unconditional love. Like regardless of whatever the situation is, you're going to love this child. You want to be the best person for him. So I think... The change that you guys are probably seeing in me is stemming from me being a father. One Extra presents Pressed. Hi guys, it's your girl Adriana Patron. You know the vibes already. Hey guys, it's me, Mara Musa, your Miss Unproblematic, and welcome back to the Press Podcast. Woo-hoo! Today, guys, I always love to say this, we have a special episode because we have one of the most funniest guys I've met. Iconic. Iconic. My Out. twin. Oh, Ooh, yeah. We've been hearing that and seeing that. Oh, but well, also, it. I just say on your own lane. Oh, we love, thanks. we love our own lane, guys. So, go ahead and choose yourself. Yeah, uh, it's the one and only uh, HP like the source, Harry Panero. Yes, Halen from Peckham, of course. Starts can save ya. Um, <laughs> do rags on because the hairline's missing, um, but we'll be found hopefully, inshallah. And of course, I'm making my first appearance on press. Another round of applause. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. No. So, guys, how come it took so long? Is no. it, do you have to like build yourself up to become famous and then oh, come yeah, on the podcast? Yeah, we just felt or? like... As in, it took too long to get, get him here. Yeah, 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 we felt like we had to build our credentials because yeah. you're a busy man. Okay, yeah, well, you're a guy, your status as yeah. well. Yeah. We had to show you what we're about first. Exactly. And this is an honour. Just to show you how much I love you guys, yeah? I have just come off the plane and the first bit of work or on camera stuff I've done is with you guys. Of course. So, yeah, wow. just, just to let you guys but know how much I love you. can I just say, this is why I like you, Harry. You're very supportive. Always. Yeah, he always, does give supportive. Always. And you just keep, uh, do you know what I really love about Harry? He's himself. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many fake people in this industry, but Harry, you get, you you know what, is what though, you yeah? get. You lot will say that because you lot know me, yeah? But sometimes the world doesn't think that. Yeah. And and do you is know what I've, what I've realised is that this means more to me than what anyone else thinks. Because yeah, for 100%. me, I guess this is the real life, innit? Like, yeah. And when you speak about supportive stuff, it's not just because you lot are, you lot are actually sick. So when you, when you lot come on my podcast or I work with you guys, you elevate me as well. So it's not... Um, it's, it's transactional. <laughs> just oh, just you know. We're all uh, gaining. Yeah, we're all gaining, though. <laughs> you get me? That's why our, our shows are doing well. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're all gaining, bro. Trust me. Don't think when I'm calling you, I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to help you out. I need yeah. you. There's no one like you lot. But so. that's why I, oh, see, this is why I like you so much because yeah. he really just bigs up our team yeah. and yeah, like no. you make me feel like I'm good at what no, I do. No, but honestly, 100%. Check, like, see comments. I don't, I don't ever say you should focus on comments because sometimes they're negative, yeah? But there's a general consensus that you lot are actually dope. So yeah. credit to all of you guys for doing Thanks, amazing Thank you, Harry. Thank you. Well, Harry, yes. you're here with me and Ajola. You have you listened to our podcast? Before? I have. I have. have you? No, I haven't. But yeah, <laughs> it's sometimes just live first, and then when they say because because what you could have said was what episode What's I would have said. Which one? Damn. You <laughs> but I just know you're smashing it. That's all I know. Thank you. We are just very open and honest. And Ajola and I were talking the other day about you know how unhinged we can be and we felt like this is a perfect episode for Harry like we want mm. our guests want to know what you're like unhinged like have you had any un- unhinged moments and Adriel and I have had very much unhinged moments so we want to <sighs> share we want to do some seen, sharing I've seen have you seen have you seen, <laughs> have you seen? listen I've seen yeah sometimes what have you seen? I, I might be chilling with Adiola yeah and something's come up on her email which she doesn't like yeah and the way you turn it it's like it, it borderline makes me want to just move away from you a little bit because I look at Adiola and I'm like lovely she, lovely person then also with you Mary, when you're angry about something hands start to move yes. and it's very much so like <laughs> like who wants smoke like no, you can die today <laughs> So, yeah, don't let them listen. The people that's listening and watching, don't I'm let them fool you. I'm so happy you said that because the other day we put up a TikTok of an episode we were talking about mm. on a press episode about something that went on holiday. Oh. Maz wanted to invite someone in the mm. car that we didn't know. And I just basically was like, it can't happen. Mm. Now, all of a sudden on TikTok, I'm a mean girl and Maz is so friendly. And I'm like, don't let that one drunk moment of Maz confuse you because Maz has her moments too. I was just the real one in that situation, but guys, we, we yeah, missed yeah. the point. Sorry, we're sorry. talk about yeah, our, yeah. our, 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 our unhinged moments. moments. I don't know. We should start and then we'll let yeah, you come you in. Yeah, you start first, and then I'll. Okay, talk. Angela, you start. Okay, one that I recently, but recently is anywhere between yeah, now yeah, 50, and fifty years. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we went out somewhere, 
I'm not even going to say who I went out to, but we was out we was out somewhere at an event and the guy that I was talking to was there, right? And he had called me earlier to say he can't take me home because, you know, his family and that is going to be there. So his car's full. And already to me, I was like, why are you pre-telling me you can't take me home? Mm. <laughs> so, something's missing. Yes. Yeah, something's, yeah, something's, yeah, something's yeah, 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 yeah. As a man, he's clocking it now. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I'm course. saying? And yeah. me, I clocked things. I said, cool. So when the event was done, my eye was on him like what you doing? Where's the mum? Where's the family? I saw the family call, whatever. It's always the family. Yeah. Guys. And then they get in the car and then as he's going into the car, I'm like, let me go out as well. And as he drives past me, I see the family, but then there's a girl in the front seat. <laughs> so not the mum, the girl? Not the mum. Who no, is not the mu- Yeah, we'll yeah, find out. Question. Who is the girl? So I'm like messaging him like, lol, your mum looks cute or whatever. He's like, what are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. But you said, lol, your mum looks yeah, cute. Yeah, that's Wait. just a stick one foot in there <laughs> yeah. to say, I've clocked you. Like, I've clocked you. Like, yeah. what are we saying now? Yeah. Anyway, he's going back and forth with me. I'm like, okay, do you know what? Let me go home because I had bare stuff with me. I was like, let me go home, drop my stuff. <laughs> Whoa. So we've caught her. It's taken her 11 <laughs> minutes. Now, guys, we are not going to pause this conversation. We are just going to have a little, little disclaimer. Now, Adiola. At least you know how really no, like, like, you're like English, yeah. Like... It's, a, it's a constant battle. <laughs> it's a battle. It's, it's a battle. Like, guys, can we just talk Yoruba? <laughs> no, because I don't understand it. I don't it's understand. Not Nigerian. It. Uh, uh. But English is so hard for me. Like my. You tongue. was born here. <laughs> exactly. You was born here. Oh, you no, born no here? you're moving like your mum was right next to you in the school saying, "No, it's not burger. It's burger." <laughs> no, like, it's like, but guys, I don't uh, know what my tongue, the way it moves. Even yeah. now, I'm scared that something else is gonna come. Yeah. It, it, it's a struggle for me so hard guys <laughs> to the point that I have an insecurity <laughs> of talking <laughs> I'm just oh, I'm screaming if you've been seeing how much times yeah oh, I'm gonna go guys, guys, guys when I have meetings no, 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 guys when okay, I have stop, meetings stop, no. and zooms yeah Bless you. Bless I'll be, you. in my head I'm already I'm like crying. premeditating oh, the yeah. word I'm trying to say I get it though Bye. sometimes your brain works faster than the mouth. No. So when you're thinking about okay. it, she's so crying, she's so crying. So what did you even say, watch? <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I am crying. Wow. Adiola versus English. Okay. All right, let's rerun it. Go. On. Okay. Let's give so, her a second yeah. chance. I went home to drop my stuff off, and then I was like, let me just make my way to his house so we can really see. Because I thought if he was actually with a girl chances are he's either not going to come home or the girl will come back. So I'm arguing with him and there's a bench and he's complex. So I'm just sitting on the bench arguing with him back and forth. I feel like I was there for like two hours, but I didn't say that I was there because mm. I wanted to catch him out. Mm. And then he spins. Psychotic, by the way, but yeah, go <laughs> He turns the block, <laughs> yeah, and there's no girl there anymore. Oh. And then I just felt like, wow, he wasn't lying to me. And then as he's turned, you know what I mean? You just got to own your situation. I just wave like this. What I'll say in that situation is, as a guy, if you see your woman or the person who you're seeing showing that level of dedication, yeah, that means she really loves you and cares about you or yeah. she really wants to know, am I a dickhead? Yeah. So in that case here, yeah, was it a thing where, am I a dickhead or yeah. did you really like him? It was like both. It was like, am I a dickhead? And it was, I couldn't, I'm, there's no way I'm going to go to sleep. I wouldn't be able to sleep Babe, you can't without sleep. knowing. Like, I've had situations when I can't sleep. Because I know this person is doing yeah, me Yeah, and it's dirty. like, if I'm going to catch you, this will be the moment. 100%. So why, what am I doing sleeping when I could be catching you? Because you'll be, you won't, you won't sleep anyway. So you must yeah. just go catch him. Sorry. Wow. But, do you know in that situation though, you're defo sick, but it's okay. I feel like you've got on over a, it. On a scale of understand how un, unhinged was she? Oh, I'll give it a, based on the situation, because it did sound a bit dodgy. Yeah, So exactly. So I'm going to get some, take some points away from you. <laughs> I'll say he was a six. Okay, that's, that's a six. Okay, that's mine, not... mine's mad. Yeah, right, mine's as well. Listen, mad right. mads, let's go. So, there was, so there's this guy I was talking to, kind of liked him. And then um, it didn't end well, basically. So I woke up one day and I watched his story. Oh, that's it. <laughs> what, this story? <laughs> on Guys, my fake account. Stories, on my fake account, because there was no way I was watching it on my account. So I watched his fake account and I went out the night before. So I was a little bit, you know, hyped up drunk. And then he posted another girl on his story, like saying how she's really beautiful and Ooh. thank God for the father for making her. But <sighs> bearing in mind though, you do have to add that the girl was promoting his okay. song. Oh, so it was an artist you Listen, were dating. Listen, I wasn't dating no artist. Oh, that ha- Listen! No, <laughs> that ha- I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she no, caught you in, like a rat. 
on the highway. I know that in that content. It wasn't a rapper. Content. It wasn't a rapper. It was in his content. Oh, so he's an influencer YouTuber. Listen, hey, Harry, yeah, you I was is dating, just you know. I, I wasn't dating anyone. They I was dating. We weren't dating. I oh, was just filling it but around. But that, that's okay. a <laughs> cool, uh, it was because that adds to the madness. Like he wasn't just calling a Listen, random own, girl own beautiful. Listen, If that's that's the guy Listen. that was that was pressing you. No one was pressing me. Let him press. Let him press. Anyway, go on. So anyway, so I was talking to someone, and then I watched their story, and then they posted some. Girl, <sighs> Harry. Yeah, I DM the girl. Oh my god! She, what did you say? This is where it no, gets... Maz, you didn't do that. But she... I was like, I DM'd her, but I'm not on my. Oh, I'm baiting it out too much. But just, it's fine just, though. It's okay. like, this was time like, ago. It was time ago. They're probably not even gonna be watching it now. Anyway. Yeah, so I DM'd the girl, and I was like. I, was, I told her like, oh, just be careful of this guy. Like, he's a waste man. Like, he treated my friend he, he really treated bad. Treated my friend really bad. What friend? What friend? There was no friend, right? <laughs> you <a> psycho! <laughs> Yay! Oh no! Do you know what? Can I just say round of applause because it takes a, a real man person to <laughs> speak in third person. These times you're talking about yourself. What makes it worse is obviously I sent the message. I was I had a bit to drink, and then I went to bed, and then I woke up and I was thinking, oh my god, did I? Re I thought I was dreaming. I was like, did I really do that? <laughs> So then I went back to the mess and I tried to unsend it, tried to unsend it. I couldn't unsend it. Had it been seen though? No, not yet. Okay. And then I thought, okay, cool. Maybe she won't see it. She replied. She replied, she was so lovely. She was so lovely. She was like, no, he's just my friend. Like, I'm just helping promote his content, stuff like that. And I was like, and then I replied back because I was like, I can't now come with that energy. And I was like, to her, oh, babe, okay, cool. Like, I just wanted to give you a heads up. And she was probably like, you're such a girl's girl. And I was like, yeah, like. Did you know, little did she know. Little did she know. Don't mess with my man. No, that's he's not my man. He's oh, not okay, my man. No, okay, potential. No, no. The thing, that's the thing. He wasn't even no. a potential. So why was you so pressed? I, I just. Me in the morning. And then when I asked her, I asked her, I said, but babe, why was you mad? Because what triggered you is him saying another girl is beautiful by promoting the content. And then think about she that. was like, I'm the only beautiful one in the world. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to give you uh, 10 plus in terms of how unhinged you was. <laughs> but let me tell you something, like Harry, right? One thing about me is I mind my business. Like, I'm cool. Like, Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind your business? A man is trying to promote his brand. Literally. And you're just coming to just... It's so no, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Because oh, no. let's be real. Let's be... Okay, let's just break this down. Oh. Here. So cool. You're seeing someone. It's not now anything serious. Yeah. No. They've just promoted... They're using a woman, a woman to promote them. But as as they do. Why? Because maybe, maybe yeah. a lot of people are going to take in the content or song Due to the fact but that the woman no, was, was, no. was, was the girl good looking. She was beautiful. So he was. So <laughs> he, he was wasn't gorgeous. lying. He wasn't lying. He wasn't. Then. But what the like? I was just. I, I was triggered. I was so <laughs> triggered. Like I didn't. You know, like sitting in the middle. I'm scared. No, but no, that one was scary because when she said she DM'd the girl and I, t I asked her what triggered her and she told me I even had to say, "Baby, you're mad." Yeah, it's madness. That, yeah, but, but I can own that. that like, I know that. It. I know it was mad. Oh, like yeah. I know it was mad. But let me tell you something, Harry. Though, let me tell you something about me, right? You know how I'm telling you that like, I'm a business. I actually, do like when mm. it comes to guys. I mean, I do my own thing. So if you're coming to me, like you know, I'm a lover girl. <laughs> Everyone knows I'm a lover girl. Don't be telling me sweet, sweet Help things. Me. Because I'm gonna believe your sweet, sweet things, and then you move mad. Yeah. I'm gonna obviously move no, mad because no, no. I literally mind my business. Like I don't. I think that would, if I was seeing someone or dating someone, yeah. dating, that they would annoy me. Especially if you didn't say good morning, beautiful to me that morning. Bro, and then but you pretend... can use that vocab whoa, 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 whoa. on your story. What's yeah. happened here? You was on my side. <laughs> no, now you just changed. No, but she understands. Why are you getting mad now as you well? You have to understand, no. Harry. Harry. <laughs> Did you see him? No, the hands are coming up now. <laughs> Why are you getting mad? It's done. Because it's done. It's done. It was an unhinged. It was yeah. so unhinged. Yeah, At least we are aware yeah. of yes, our yes, mistakes. That's true. Yeah. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't like drive if I saw. No, I wouldn't drive. I wouldn't drive there. Oh, I but I would DM. Yeah. I would DM. Drive. At least there's there's two types of people: the people that will show up and the people that will tell you. And at least we balance each other out. Thank you. Oh, but wow. Harry, this is what we ask wow, you wow, now, wow. as a man, yeah. what has been your most Have unhinged? You ever handled? Yeah, where so, you've moved a bit mad. Yeah. So okay, cool. So this was like. Um, I'll say second year or third year of college, yeah? Because I had to do a start year because my GCSEs weren't the best. Um, but that's not anything we need to talk about. No one's no. laughing, so I know. Look you're... at me now, right? Yeah, look at me now. So I was seeing someone, yeah? She was my girlfriend, yeah? And we had had a very serious argument. You know, like when you're like, well, this is what I don't like about you. Well, this is what I don't like about you. All of that stuff, innit? But me as an idiot, she was going out that night. And I know how it gets with girls. When, when you go out, you're going to snap. And you're going to make the we'll man know the most. you shouldn't have messed yeah, with me. Yeah? So she did hurt. all of that. But back then on Snapchat, you can see the story on the circle. So you don't actually have to tap it. 
So I could see, I'm a bit older than you guys, so I could see, I could genuinely, yeah, don't laugh, it's not funny. Um, I, I could see the whole night. So I could see when she's wearing her dress. I could see when she's in a car. Oh. And I didn't open up the snap because I wanted to be stubborn, innit? But yeah, yeah, yeah. He, me, me, I'm literally on Look Snapchat. Like that mini. If, if the screen time, they could see the screen time that day was just oh. Snapchat. And I, I wanted to, I had some of her friends on Snapchat. So I'm seeing what's happening on her Snapchat, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So cool. They've gone to a club. It might have been one of those tapes or libs or whatever it was, yeah? So, again, I'm in my bed. Yeah, I'm trying to watch TV, but my mind <gasps> is there. And you know, like when you end the argument with Vim, but you don't mean what you're saying. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, That's I'm like, the worst. yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, whatever, man. It's me, bro. Do what you want to do anyway. I don't yeah. care anyway. You know me anyway. I've come to this world, born alone, die alone. <laughs> All of that crap. These times, my heart is there. Freaking. So cool. It gets to like midnight now. I'm still up. So I've looked at the Snapchat. I see a watch. <gasps> That's how you get them. I love just a cheeky watch. Even a shoe just gets stuck in the corner. I saw a watch. It was gold. I had spun, so I'm thinking it's myself. Especially them times. Did you have a watch yourself? What watch? Exactly. That's what makes it the, burn the, the, the most. The, the, the thought of me buying a watch, yeah, I would have had to be, had money. I had nothing. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of guy back then I would have said, listen, it's not about Rolexes and all that stuff. It's, G- it's about my heart. G Shock. I had a Casio. House. I even had a Casio. And you know, like when you try and make it Casio? look cool. No, Casios are calm. I would wear a Casio now, bro, because it's about how you feel in it. I didn't have nothing. So I broke my rule. I said, I'm not going to watch your story. I did. I watched every story. So I, so I watched when she was getting ready. I saw. So when it got to the watch now, it's a Michael Kors and it's her friends. Oh, I was well, fuming. Is, is I was, no, no, no. I was fuming because in my head, yeah, I was about to message her a madness. I was going to say, you see what I'm saying about you? I can't <laughs> trust you women. You went out and you went to go and party. It's her friend's watch. And then obviously, because we we done this thing where where, where, where was this in a sick relationship, where we used to say to each other like, Whoever watches the story first, you've given in, innit? Like, and you, and you, yeah, it was, I've never heard that yeah, yeah, one. It was, it was, we used to argue a lot. This is why we're not together, innit? Toxic. So then obviously she messaged me within two minutes and she was like, huh. no, she was like, um, anything, do you want to say anything? <laughs> and I remember, yeah, that's when I realised, I said, yeah, I need to become a man more because this was some, I just felt like a waste, man. But what I wanted to message her that day when I saw the watch, I wanted to say, you see you, I'm done with you. You and your, your, I wanted to call her friends, hoes, everything, the rest of it. And I'm watching her story. There was nothing in her friend's story at all. She was a loyal girl. But that time I almost lost myself. And that's when I realized that trust your woman. Trust your woman. Was, in my head, my insecurities yeah, or the fact yeah. that what I didn't have yeah. was making me think, oh my God, she's on the table with yeah. guys and they're buying her things. Who knows? They could have still been there. I would never have known. Probably but, not. But probably she wasn't like that. Yeah. She was someone who like, genuinely had my best interests at heart. And it? Harry, you had every right to actually be unhinged because he was in a relationship. Yeah, right? but yeah. also, no, you lot are sick. But, but also <laughs> for me, yeah. What it made me realise is that sometimes your insecurities are the ones that drive you yeah. to do that yeah. madness. Because she didn't do anything. We just nothing. had an argument 100%. and she went yeah, out and enjoyed yeah, herself. Yeah. Yeah. If we was on cool terms, I wouldn't have thought nothing of it. But you're actually self-aware because at least before jumping to conclusions, you thought, let me I'm watch the story. Yeah. You know, if I am if I find out anything about you, yeah, I'll look you in your eyes if nothing's happened until I have full, full evidence. Yeah. Then I'll bring it to you as if it's a dossier and I'll be like, well... A, B, Exhibit A. You lot are more unhinged because maybe it's because it's a potential. Ooh. Someone that could have maybe could have formed into something, yeah. And you're like, I'm no, trying to I cut. don't think it's that. I think it's disrespect. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just me, disrespect. I, you, could, you could have moved to me in a club and you haven't even taken my no, let me not say that because that makes me sound mad. But you could have just moved to me. And then how dare you move to someone in my presence in that same way? That's crazy. No, because I, 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 I do, will ruin that. I do agree. I do think if 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 I've moved to someone and I've gamed you enough, enough to say, let me get your number, and then I go and do the same to someone else. I if if you if I call you and you've seen that happen, I'm not ever gonna take you serious. Yeah. 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 But I would go up to the person, be, oh hey. Yeah, no, do you know you just took my number, you know? <laughs> Do you yeah. want to be part of a group chat or? Oh, yeah. that's exactly Double how day. I yeah. responded like that. Because it's like you're doing a lot online, but <laughs> what you're saying to me is not your actions. I one thing about me, Harry, like how I am, mm. I am how I am. Mm. If you're coming acting like you're some sweet person, <laughs> no, she knows me. <laughs> no. If you're you, coming oh. to me with this energy, like you're serious, be serious. If you start moving dumb like some chewing gum boy, I'm gonna give you Pepe. That's what I'm gonna give you because I ain't got time. Yeah. Who's got time for that? Like, be yourself. Oh, if you're gonna be a dickhead, be a dickhead when I met you. So at least but I the know. The scene is hard, Harry. Yeah, Harry no, is. I'll be it's honest with you home. though. It's I think our parents are the last people to understand what real, love, true love, unconditional and love and commitment. And yeah? working hard. Right now, what I think is happening is, yeah, um, 
I think for, for women, yeah, for a long period of time, they've been getting disrespected in relationships, yeah? And finally, they've had enough. Mm. And I think men are not able to understand or deal with that, yeah? So nobody is trying to go into anything serious. Everyone is just messing around and fooling but around. Who wants to be outside for that long? Nobody like... does. But sometimes you want to enjoy yourself. You want to enjoy your life. You're but young. You know what they say? Too much of something is not good. Too yeah. much enjoyment is it's not good. You need to have stability. You need to have like composure. You need to calm I, down. I, I also think as a woman, yeah, it's difficult because when you find somebody who you potentially could feel like is the person, yeah, I think nine times out of ten you find out that there's something wrong or there's just it's not as real as you you may have wanted it to be. Harry. Yeah? No, it's true. It's it's, it's real. Adriola, oh my God. Why is it then that you can speak to a guy and there might be some red flags and there might be some things you hear about them and you are more willing to be like, I might give him a chance. Why is it when you guys see a girl do something a little bit mad, then your, your whole perception changes? I, I think for when me, girls yeah. are more like, be more understanding to maybe think about the situation. Like, oh, maybe I re like this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think for me, yeah, um, and I'll speak for myself. I think when you when you look at women, you you raise them up to above like loyalty and commitment and sticking by you and all the stuff that you, you know, you may look at your mum and think, that's what my dad saw in my mum and that's what my mum has shown me as a, as a mother and whatever. And it's like, Sometimes, yeah, if you don't find that in a woman, yeah, you're just going to be disinterested. That's how I feel like. I feel like the, the the morals of a woman should be stick by your man and vice versa. A man should always stick by his woman, innit, yeah? These boys. But nowadays, it's very easy for someone to be swayed. Like a man, yeah, for yeah. example, if, if if I'm with somebody, that's who I see. I don't see anyone else. That's, that's my woman and that's how it's supposed to be, yeah? But nowadays, I just feel like it's just so easy for someone to be swayed. So it's not really real anyway. Yeah. So the, the, yeah. the basis of what people are building relationships off are not real. This person's good looking. This person's got a great job. Yeah. This person smells good. But have you ever spoken to that person about depression or anxiety yeah. or stuff that yeah. really happens yeah. when you're in a relationship? I think yeah. people's idea but of relationship is something. But that's why I feel like me and Adriana go unhinged because yeah. it's like, I don't think, I don't have time for all of that. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying when I'm like, when I get to talk to someone, I'm talking to you, like, I'm trying to get to know you for you. So then when you move mad, it's like, mm. what the hell? Like, I, I, do you I'll get it? When I, like, when I had a son, I realised that there's a lot of work that I have to do on myself because you go into something, a relationship, and everything is all good. But when things hit the fan, mm. that's when you start to realise, oh, I've got work to do. Oh, I didn't know that about that person. Yeah. So any advice I give to people is when you're getting to know someone and you feel that like you really like this person. And I'm not talking about when you've slept with them. I'm talking about if, if, if you don't or do whatever. Mm -hmm. But when you actually get to know that person, you need to know their flaws. You need to know, is this someone I can build a family with? What's their family like? What's the relationship with their parents yeah. like? All of that stuff, all it all makes sense because if you don't do that, you're gonna have a big surprise when yeah. you're emotionally already involved in it. And then it's yeah. like, it's too late for you to, then you're drained. You're like, oh, I can't deal with guys because yeah. this guy reminds yeah. me of this. So. I think we all just need to look in and have those real conversations. If you don't have that, you're just going to be... I agree. Yeah, you're going to be thrown I agree around. With you. So You're speaking back. It's, it's just real life, man. I think that's what people are scared to do. Be... be um, What's the word? Vulnerable. Vulnerable. To yes. Because yeah, be, like, like being in love or falling in love or getting yourself to love, you have to be open and you have to be willing to like take someone's um crap take everything about them and also give them everything about you yeah yeah that's which is scary. difficult as that's a guy scary. anyway it's very difficult to be very vulnerable with um yeah. with your partner or the person you're seeing like you might feel a bit vulnerable yeah, to tell that to person because that might throw the person off, off. and be yeah. like, oh, I don't want that. Like you want them to fall in love with you first before you start yeah. showing. So I respect people that just keep it real. Yes. You know the people that will just tell you, yeah, yeah, no, like, so um, I've been with like 65 guys um, and I've slept with 900 women, but it's, it's they're being honest. They're just keeping it real. Yeah, and if you love that person and them. you're able to see beyond that, then you have something real there. Not me though. No, no, not me. But in general, Boy. yeah. That's, That's how I would look at it. Hey, Peaches. If you're enjoying this video, you should know that you can listen to every episode of Press on BBC Sounds with a new episode every Friday. But now, let's get back to the video, shall we? Hair like this is the Press Hotline. So, guys, we're going to move on to the hotline. Today, it is a Harry special. So, mm -hmm. Peaches, it's not about you today. It's all about Sorry, what bitches. you guys wanted us to ask Harry. Mm -hmm. So, let's get down to it. As a Muslim, has he felt pressed by how his community reacts to some of his content, like the blind dating? Yeah, not pressed, because I'm a Muslim who understands myself. Yeah. And I know what my intentions are. I know that I'm in an in a industry where I'm an entertainer and I've, o I've only been doing entertainment. Mm -hmm. Me as a person and what I do in, in work is completely different. 
Now, people have an assumption of, of, of me based off my work, the which content, is fine. Yeah. yeah, people think I'm a misogynist. People think I'm... He's not like that guy. That, that but it's, it's not for anyone to say. So, so my thing is, it's like people will separate what they want. Yeah. So I think that the reason why people have a agenda about me is because they see what they hate in men in my content. So that's why they're like, he must be like that in real life, mm. knowing that I'm a completely different person. It's I'm, a character. It's a character. I'm a God-fearing person. <laughs> I go and pray. I've been to Umrah. I've tried, I'm trying my best to get as close to God as yeah. possible, yeah? People don't look at that. They look at the worst thing. So my thing is, like, if you focus on that, that shows what type of person you are. Because yeah. um, I, I defo do show different parts of myself, and people focus on that one thing. Because I'm sure yeah. they loved adulthood and kidhood, and there was what it's like, for example, yeah, when you look at, like, when it. you look at someone like Cardi B, for example, yeah? She will be twerking left, right, and center, and she's a very like she's in her own. She shows herself in it. Like, yeah. does that mean that she's sleeping with every single guy? No, it she's does got a husband, and her husband's in her videos. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So it's like people pick and choose. So yeah. I can't focus on that. I'm here no. to create content, and I focus on people that take the content for the content. As a Muslim, I do I do realize that a lot of Muslims have um, some of them have my best interests That's at heart. True. So I, I get messages, private messages, like, brother. Um, I love your I love your work, but you know you are a, like a pillar of this community, and also a lot of young Muslims are watching you. So just understand that mindful. that you have be very mindful. Right. So even with me, sometimes I'm like I don't want to do because I know my influence and I know how hard I can go when I do these videos. So it's like I try to just be like you know what, let me find other things to do yeah. because it is difficult. Yeah, um, I can imagine. But at the end of the day, I know my intentions, and it's at the end of the day, God is only God that can judge but me. But can I also say they don't even see the things that you don't do because of your religion because mm. you don't go out and be like, by the way, I turn this down, I don't do this down yeah, because like, of my religion. Like I don't drink, yeah. I don't. Um, promote like any alcohol or, or anything that is going to make anybody be addicted to that could actually cause them any problems. I don't do none of that stuff. Like, so it's like, at the same time, you can't please everybody. And that's yeah. why I don't care really and truly. Do you feel like you get to a stage in your career? I feel like everyone does though, but do you feel like you've got, to, you've got to a stage in your career where you're like, I'm just doing me. I don't really care yeah, what anyone has to I say. I to because see with me, yeah, I think I'm one of those people that like, not even to toot my own horn. I've got a very clean Dude. heart. I've got a very <laughs> clean heart and I literally <clears throat> love to see people win. Yeah. My whole Gosh. brand, we are winning. It's not, it doesn't say I am winning. It's we yeah. as a community. I feel like we should genuinely be supporting each other. If you see Can someone- Can you say that again? Re just say no, it again. honest to God, like, we are winning this. That's what it stands for. It stands for everybody to win together. Do you know that's I so powerful? Yeah, and also I've always, I've always known, yeah, a loser, a loser will never be happy if a winner is winning. Oh, but never. a winner, when he sees another winner win, it's he's cool. happy yeah. because yeah. that's where he's at or she is at. Yeah. And I feel like whoever uh, um, looks at me and thinks, oh, this person's negative or he's a whatever, that's down to you. I always say people are angry at the things that trigger them. Mm. So, for example, if I've been robbed 50 times and I see a guy robbing someone, I'm going to hate that person because it reminds me of what happened to me. And that's what I look that's at true. when I see other people. So I'm aware of how sometimes my content can come across there, but... It is just content, and that is it. Like people think that Take every it from what yeah, it people is. think I'm that gonna, every okay, every I'm, single girl that's in the video, I'm 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 taking back. They're all models. They're they're, they're, they're here to be. They're, they're here for work, and then that's it. So Ooh. it's it's just wild to me that people can't see. But yeah. then also, okay, right, it makes I'm me gonna, think I'm a good actor. No, no, okay, okay. okay. Harry, I don't know about. I'm okay. gonna counter it, right? Yeah. Oh, come on. Would you say then that people might think, okay, if you know that's it's just for the content, then are you kind of selling yourself? Because no. no, no. Why because not? It's because like, it's like an actor. I'm an because entertainer. If, I'm, if I get casted for a shoot now yeah. and in that shoot, I'm an assassin. What? Do I want to now go into real life and start robbing people's homes or like... No, and, but I think, you know... No, 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 Harry, I get you yeah, 100%. Yeah, no, 100%. I'm just got to be... Someone I has to be yeah, the... Yeah, no, what, course, whatever. Course, course. But I feel like but, people take the content literally rather than what is it making you feel. It's making remember, you laugh. But remember, right... Everything we do, as much as it's jarring me being the person to say, but everything we do, um, we have some sort of influence. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like, because obviously, like you're saying, like, I, I, what, ever since I said I that. I feel like, I hate everyone. I'm what? sorry. I feel like people should rely on their parents. No, no, no. I get it. I agree. I agree. I hear what, I hear what Mariam's I'm trying to say. say, basically, when I, when I told everyone that, okay, I love God, that I want to be born again, born again Christian, I felt like, because of just saying that, um, it put a lot of pressure on me mm -hmm. to think I can't live matters like my truth and how I am because they you know that, that I put there. that out there so it's like um 
am I, not that I'm not living my truth, but am I selling myself knowing that my industry is like this, mm. there's a certain way to be and act and you progress mm. and stuff like that. But when you've got people that love you and get your religion and get how that much that means to you when they're coming to you like, Ooh, looking at you a bit sideways. Like, do you, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I, I hear you I because, hear what you're saying. because for yeah. me, it's like, okay, cool. Because that's a question. I'm a Muslim, yeah? Yeah. And regardless of the work I do, I'll always be a Muslim. Yes. So my main thing is I try to do it as right as I can by God. However, I'm also an entertainer. Now, when I came into this industry, I didn't come into this industry with a Quran in my hand. I came into this industry creating content. Now, the bigger you get, mm -hmm. and I am going to profess my love to God everywhere I go. I'm not going to hide it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So me telling you guys I'm a Muslim is to let you guys know I'm a Muslim man doing what I'm doing. Because you're human. And I'm like a human being. Thing, you're human. But when they, vil when they vilify you for it, instead of trying to give you advice, then that's when it's a problem. Yeah. I've had people in my comments say, you're a terrible this and this and this. God, God is going to do this. And I'm just like... Anger and energy you're using, I don't think is the right way to do it. Give me mm -hmm. advice, which I will take on board. I'm also aware of my influence because I'm a I'm pretty big in this YouTube thing, yeah. And it's like I understand I have an influence. However, this is work. This is what provides food on the plate for my family. This is what is allowing me to go and build properties for my parents to live in. You think I'm gonna let your comments stop me? My yeah. intentions are pure and it will never stop like that. I don't respond to people's comments. There's been things said about me online, which I don't care because it doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah. If I genuinely was what these people uh, said I am, yeah. then it would affect me. But it yeah, doesn't. Yeah, 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 I've yeah. never on God's and lost a sleep of n at night I love that. because of what yeah. people have said about me. And also it's because our work is visible. You know these lot that do nine to five, they also have their own trials and tribulations. I've, said, yeah, I, I've always obvious. said if everybody was on the mic uh, under the microscope here, yeah, like how we are, mm -hmm. a lot of people wouldn't have jobs. I'm no. in, I, I still have a job because I'm not like how you lot think I am. Yeah. But that's not for me to, yeah. to be, hey guys, look, it's not yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm not going to do that, bro. Yeah. So it's like, like some of the companies you lot even work for, do you know what your company stands for and what they're doing in other countries or like where it's they're taking you know money from? It's selective outrage. So, Honest to God, I hope everyone knows I don't lose no sleep at night over it. There's a lot of good people that support me. I go, I've, like, I, like I said to you guys, I travel across Europe. <laughs> Every single city, yep, yeah, you got me. Every single city across Europe. Europe, yeah, showed us love. That is my reality. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people's reality is just social media mm -hmm. and it is what it is, isn't it? But I don't care. Okay, so Harry, mm -hmm. what important lessons has been learned after becoming a dad? Obviously, Father's Day was itchy last weekend mm -hmm. and you've been slowly showing a bit more of that. Mm -hmm. So how, what would you say? Um, oh, It's mad. I, it's hard to put into words, isn't it? Having a child and becoming a father because um, I understand how it is, you know, to be a son. And I understand what my dad did for me as a father. And without his, you know, just being there as a dad, I don't know where I'd be as, as, as a man now. But when you see your child, it's like, it's a unconditional love. Like regardless of whatever the situation is, you're going to love this child. You want to be the best person for him. So I think the change that you guys are probably seeing in me is stemming from me being a father. Like I don't want to, I don't want my son to see things that I feel like, you know, kids follow everything you do. Yeah. I don't want my son to see me drinking. I don't want my son to see me, you know, smoking. I don't want my son to see me doing those things. So he thinks it's normal. Yeah. So it then changes your perspective of what it is that you want to be as a man so that he can look at me and be like, well, my dad was like this. So I want to, mm -hmm. I want to, that's how I was with my pops. You know what I mean? Um, but then also it's just made me like more cautious because yeah. it's like, you always want to just go home to your son. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like whenever I go away from work or whatever it is, my main thing is I can't wait to see him. Like, Aww. and now we've got a bond where it's like, he copies what I do. So like, there'll be a balaclava in the house. And I usually, when I'm going to places I don't want to see me, he'll put it on as well. So he puts <laughs> on training, he'll take my keys. Like he copies what I do. And I've got a video, which I'll show you guys, yeah, of him praying. So he's seen me pray. And now he does what, what I do as well. So it's like, Crazy. those things there are just so beautiful. And I, I've said this many times, but the, the minute Akeem was born, I called my dad in it and I was just like, dad, sorry. Everyone says this, Yeah, you know? I said sorry. I saw you, I saw yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, because I, I was just like, blood. I love this boy already and he's, he's been here for 30 minutes, bro. I can only imagine what it's like to love someone. And then be rude to you. And then be rude to you. Or them not appreciate, obey you or appreciate yeah. you, innit? Like, so yeah, it's just, it's completely changed me. And I think Father's Day, seeing so many different fathers, like, being celebrated for being there because it's very important that you, you're there for your children. Yeah. Regardless if you're not with the, the the partner, you should always be there for your child regardless, innit? So yeah, it's just made me much more humble as well. And, Do you um, feel like, because you know, like, I don't know about you, but I feel like the generation we kind of came from, men are 
they found it hard to be emotional with their kids. Mm. Yeah. Do you feel like, do you have that sort of barrier? Do you struggle yeah, with it? Obviously you have a son. Mm. I, I know I always notice a difference with how um, black men treat their daughters and their sons. How do you show your your son that as a black mm. man, this is how I love no, you? I'm very emotional to my son. I, I kiss my son every day. Oh, like, yeah, like, he needs that. to know that there's love, that yeah. men so, are supposed to, like he's a very strong kid and he's going to yeah. know with his dad that we, we are, we don't play games. Did it come natural to you though, all the emotion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. oh, wow. I think, um, well, originally I've always been a very like closed off type of person in it because of where I've come from and my upbringing. Like I'm from an area where, or think just, it doesn't matter what area I'm from, but where I've come from, it's emotions don't really. Yeah. And also my dad wasn't really an emotional person because of how he was raised. Yeah. I have become emotional because of, you know, I've been around people. I've gone to different families and I've seen, oh, what, you actually hug your dads? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. You, you actually sit in and have dinner and stuff. So now I'm doing that with my family yeah. at, in my, you know, my 30s. But when I was young, I didn't do that that much. Yeah. So I want that for my son. So I want my son to be able to have the stuff that I didn't have when I was younger. And that's how it's always going to be as time goes on, in it? So yeah, I'm emotional with him. I find it very easy to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? When he's crying or whatever, I'll sit down and explain to him like, it's okay. It's like, oh. Don't worry. Like, he, like, I bought him a bike for his birthday and we leave it downstairs um, where all the bikes are, yeah? So every time I'm coming from the car park to get there, he just points at it, yeah? <laughs> but I'm like, bro, you've just finished nursery, bro. Like, you've been riding a bike all day. Where are you going? Then, where are you going? Then he'll start Ooh. crying. I'm like, no, it's okay. Tomorrow, we'll take it. And then it's like, being able to speak to him without being, no, you're not going to do it, yeah. is very different, isn't it? Yeah. So you just have to... You learn as time goes on. I lose my cool sometimes, you get me, but it might be a stressful day and this guy's just being annoying. I'm like, okay, okay, just. <laughs> then I feel bad. I'm like, no. Then he'll come and hug me. And yeah. then, you know what I mean? So he's he's very in tune. And his mum does an incredible job. I've got Mira's an incredible mum. Round of applause for the fathers. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to the mums too. And mothers. Yeah, and mothers. Mira, Mira's an incredible mum as yeah. well. So yeah, it, it, makes it, it makes it so much easier that he has two parents that love him so much in it. So wow. he's a lucky kid. Yeah. Trust me. He's beautiful as well. Very. Um, obviously, I feel like as as the years goes on and generations, you're just gonna get bigger and more yeah. like influential. So it's like with that, you're someone's actually. Oh, Harry Panera is my dad. Like, do you wow, feel like you. you're gonna um allow him to kind of have that um pr privacy, or do you feel like you're happy for him to? Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. when you think about Kardashians and stuff like that with their kids, I only feel like you're gonna get well, more and more. The so. difference between me and the Kardashians is they've got multi multi millions, so it's different. And it's yeah, we can so, still so, get that. No, but we can, but... That, <laughs> we can, no, but no, we can, we can. <laughs> but my point is, it's just like, I feel like that is very private to me. I think I give a lot of myself anyway on social media mm. that anything that is very private to me, I want to keep it. I want to keep it that way. So my son, of course, I'll let people know that I have a son because I never want to hide a blessing that God's given me. However, seeing his face, it could lead to people saying certain things yeah. that I don't think is right. There's a lot of weird people in the world, yeah. so I want to protect that. I don't, I don't post it, my mum, my sister, my dad, yeah. anything, because those people still have a, a normal life that isn't this. Yeah. So I've chosen to do this, they haven't. Also with my kid, I don't think I want to give him a phone or social media straight away because he can get warped in and, and then start to create a character based on what social media is. Yeah. So I want him to genuinely be like, dad, I want to be on your Instagram. Or dad, I want to be able to do that. Can we do a live together, daddy? Yeah, dad, can we do Instagram <laughs> live? I'll be, it'll be cringy as for I'll just be doing dad jokes, but like I want him to to choose that rather yeah, than me doing it. You, put it on you know what I mean? Nice. I don't trust the, the internet. It's very dodgy. No, the yeah. internet is crazy. Like you just never know what you're gonna get. And it's so hard when you go on the internet as yourself as well. Because people really mm. judge you for you on there. Some people go online and they can pretend to be a fake profile mm. and hide behind the finsters. But when you on there as yourself, mm. it's scary. And One it's thing I'll say is that I've never ever dropped a, a comment on a finster or anything. I've never done any of that sort. Do you have a finster? I have one, but that's just Ooh. for like- Oh yeah, like your private. My private, yeah. that's like for my friends. Like How many finsters do you have? I have two. You said what? Yeah, because I have one what? that actually. Because <laughs> I had to think about it. I have pre. one that I started posting on, and one that is like a pre. Pre yeah. number pre. Pre. I but then pre. I change my app for my Insta every month because you got to keep yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I can't post. keep up. I'm thinking, oh my god. Who is this? I have three. Listen, I have one to like follow like things that I need to follow, like brands and stuff mm. like that to keep an eye. I've got my pre one and I've got my fake one for myself. Like, as in like 
If you, you post you... random stuff that yeah, I can post yeah. whatever. I'm a baddie. I feel like I get to be my true baddie yeah. on my Finsta. But I got scared once. I posted like a mad picture and I ended up deleting it because I was like, am I really about to do this? Am I really going to unlock my baddie era? Did you do it on your private though? Yeah. But you got scared to post it on yeah. your private. Babe, post it on your private. Oh, yeah, I just got scared. If you know scared. who's on there, if you know who's on there, like, that's where me and the boys post the stuff that people would say, are oh, they showing off on? Yeah. But we're, we're posting it to... We're happy we have these things yeah. like we should be. But sometimes you post it, oh, these are showing off. So that's why I'm I have... Post it tonight. I have a... a, a, a look, there's only six people that's going to see it. You're getting guessed yeah, for. Like, you're getting I know, but... How many do you have? Yeah, how many do you have? 14. What? How many do you have, babe? Oh, no, people. <laughs> I thought you meant... Fit, no, I, I have one, I have one. No, 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 no. Have. Woo! That's crazy. No, oh, I have yeah, I have 14 people on there. Oh, okay. 14, 14 people. people, yeah. I think mine's eight at the moment. I think mine's 12. Mine's yeah, eight. 14 people on there. Yeah. We'll stay that number still. Oh, so. we, you can't add two more? No, 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 no. No, ours is very girly though. Yeah, like, I could, you couldn't come with my yeah. one. No, I'll show you lot after what my fence is like. Okay, it's well, funny though. Same. I have some funny stuff on there. <laughs> Well, yeah, mine is calm. Part. Mine yeah. is it's not it's not um it's still PG thirteen right now. Oh, mine is definitely eighteen plus. Mine's PG thirteen. But yeah. mine's mine's yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah, to yeah. Madness, madness with, with Maz. Maz. Yeah. It's time for Madness with Maz. So that room, this is yeah. the part of the podcast where I talk Hold about. On. Oh, do you, do you, do you see where she called my name? What did you say? Ari. Ari. <laughs> Ari. 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 Guys, i got one point now. Okay. We need to catch him out, babe. Uh, I need to be one good. point. Catch him out. Um, well, this is the part where we talk about like the madnesses on the TL yeah. and things like that. And the biggest madness that I've been seeing is pretty much Love Island, you know? Like, mm. everyone's talking about Love Island. Do you watch Love Island? No, I don't. Now, I'm not against <laughs> it. I'm not against it. The last Love Island I watched was um, I w- Marcel when Marcel was there. Wow. Whoa, that was Harry. Time ago. Yeah, yeah, that was time that ago. That was like the first few seasons. Yeah, but that's when it was yeah, hot. Three, two or three. But it's given that season. Okay, it's cool. so I think good. It's, I think it's the best season. Yeah, I can't How many episodes are we in right now? Because like, I'm been about two weeks up. now. It's been about two oh, weeks. Oh, I'm done, I'm done now. No, but you can catch up. Because they haven't done Casa Moore yet. I feel like before Casa do you know what Casa Moore is? Yeah, yeah, that's the place where they go to to do all Get tempted. Yes, tempted. Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this season is very South London dating. Yeah, like, okay. it's so relatable. Like, what does that mean, though? South London dating for the people. Situationships, that don't know? constant, and men hey, not being able hey, to. South London's be real. not really like that. Mm, I think, and it was like just the back and forth. Like, there's yeah. a guy called Tyreek. He's very much from ends. Like, ends. okay, I hear what you're saying, but you can't make me make a decision right now. Yeah, oh, I take myself. But then yeah. he'll be like to the girl, you got 48 hours to make your decision. Oh, yeah. who does he think he is? Kind well, of that's yeah. Tyreek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sick. It is good. It's entertaining. There's a guy called Mitchell. He's my psycho. I'm Mitchell. I deeped it. You know how oh, he was like, yeah. never chat to me again. He, he's a what? A psycho. a psycho. You said Soko. No, I never. No, no, no. I didn't oh, hear Soko. I promise you. He, I don't know. Do you know I didn't what? Harry wants to catch me up so no, bad with my English. Did she say Soko? I, I didn't hear that. No, I, I, I said he's a, a psycho. psycho. But Harry's ears, sometimes, they don't really... Ears. Hey! <laughs> Do you mishmash? Ears. Okay, so yeah, Mitchell. I've heard. I've, I've, okay, I'm not gonna lie. On the timeline, I have seen Mitchell. Mitchell is crazy. Everyone's talking about him. Mitchell's crazy. Whitney, hilarious. I love Whitney so much. She's so funny. Okay, so some context with Whitney. So she's yeah. a black girl from ends, like mm. my, like me and Maz. What were you gonna say? My, my, my. I don't my. know. <laughs> the brain is moving fast. Oh, nice. Okay, yes, yeah, from ends. And she's basically with a guy that's French. Okay. And he doesn't he, seem like her usual type. type. All right. And can we just give a minute for Medi? Like her guy's called Medi. Yes. He's just That's a And they're name. never affectionate with each other. When they go yeah. to bed, one faces the wall, the other the one, one facing the other the, wall. The eye mask the is eye mask just on. on. So do you reckon that she's with him to kind of be further in the I think she's just floating. Yeah, yeah she's like, there for the She'll give him a chance because as women do, yeah. she'll give him, okay, let me see what he's saying. Like maybe it could grow. But I know when a guy that likes her comes in, she She's gone. She's gone. Yeah. She's gone. I'm ready for that. Literally. I want to see I don't this really girl. Like how he talks to her sometimes. Like he tries yeah. to insert drama into her life. So let's talk about situation, right? Yeah. So basically, this was where I think a lot of people on Twitter were like, what is going on with this guy? Mm. So she and this girl called Catherine, another black, black queen from Ireland. They spoke to another girl called Jess. She's another contestant. And I was saying to her, we felt like you're moving a bit fake with your response in the challenge. And then the Jess girl started crying. No one raised their voice. No one was being horrible. It was just like a like, like a, a bit a overwhelming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I think it was just a bit, it's like you two telling me about myself. I mm. might just cry, you know? Yeah. So then she storms off the Jess girl that was crying. And then Medi, Whitney's guy, was kind of like, 
oh, why did you make Jess cry? If you if made her cry, yeah. I'm not going to be happy about it. So it I kind don't... of, it was given that, oh, because I'm the black girl, I'm my, what yeah. happened, you've mm. just assumed Zooms. I've made this girl cry. Mm. Two twos now, that girl was actually fine. They were all cool. The girl yeah. even went to Medi and was like, by the way, she didn't make me cry. I was just, just was having a moment. Mm. But it was given like, you're making me look like I'm a bully when that wasn't situation. And why do you think I'm a bully? What What's the reason? There was mm. honestly no reason to no think that all, yeah. yeah why would you think and that's your girl that you're partner up with if i have a guy that i'm partner up with you're going to be backking me regardless right, of say oh babe what, what happened? happened i just saw her walk he up probably said, well, you just come up and like so you made her cry yeah mm. i think yeah tell us tell us for the guy i think that's a reflection on him innit mm. yes. i think sometimes with men yeah they want to control their women the woman so much that's yeah that like um he automatically was like you're the problem. Yes. You're the problem. Like automatically, you're like, you're the problem. Yes. Maybe they've had uh, arguments beforehand yeah. or whatever it may be. I don't know. But there's no excuse to that, in it. I think what what she, what's her name? Whitney, right? Whitney. What Whitney needs to realise is, yeah, that there's going to be a come a time where it's going to get worse. And she's probably going to start questioning herself, especially if she knows, I didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah. But this guy's making me feel like I've done something wrong. Cut the yeah. ties. Because that person, that's given someone who isn't in control of themselves, given insecure, you don't even know what your woman is or how she is. Yeah. And you're not... To jump the gun it, like it, that. It, I feel problem. like he needs a woman who is going to sit there and be like, yes, sir. That's yes, sir. That's what he gives. That's what he like, gives. He needs that type of woman. And I don't think Whitney's like that. So yeah. it's never going to work. She's even, not... even Harry, like, I don't think... When she was trying to say like, oh, what did you do that was wrong? She was trying to... You know when trying someone says, sorry, mm. I need to know... What, do you know what your story for? Mm. He said something wild like, well, next time... What did next he say? Time, uh, next time I'll ask why you made them cry. Rather than saying like, "Oh, I hear what you're, you're saying,", saying. You're and to... also in public, yeah, you're supposed to be. Sh Even if you two are beefing behind closed doors, in public, you have to show this yes. unity yes. because that just shows everybody else that your home is wrecked. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? If 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 my partner is doing something mad, yeah, I'm gonna be there moving mad with her, yeah. When we get in the car, we're going to say, why did you go and do that mad stuff so we can actually have some context? Yeah. But in, in front of everyone, I'm not I'm not moving mad like that. Yeah. I'm not a fake it till you make it, but let's show some sort of like... So that, unity. So, uh, huh? 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 What was that I, happened? Who said hey! that? What was it even? Solidarity. It's, 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 That's yeah. the word. Do you, know, do you know why I didn't say it? Because I knew I was going to... It's hard! Yeah, I knew I was going to mess up. I knew I was going to mess up. So I was like, all I right, even all took her wrist. All right. Like, no, you did it well. Well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Solidarity. 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 Well, you said soli, soli. Soli, soli. Soli, soli. The S's get me. The yeah, so yeah, he's, he's, he's an F boy still. He's actually yeah, an F boy. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, well, I have my favourites already before we round it off. Okay. I'm here for favorites? Whitney. I really like Tyreek. He's real. Tyreek, mm. you get what you get with him. Like, he's giving it. And also, yeah, that's it. My favourites are Whitney, Tyreek, Ella. Oh, Ella. She's real mm. too. Mm. She I've be. been seeing Ella on the timeline a yeah, lot Yeah, well. she's real. You know she's she's unhinged as well though. Yeah, Her facial expressions. She she was... Imagine someone's like, what's wrong? You're like, what? 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 But so, they wind each other up though. That's like, works. for example, so Tyreek had been dating this so... Tyreek and Ella, they're mm. a thing, right? Yeah. A new girl comes in, Tyreek is like, well, I'm not going to be closed off because I need to talk to other girls to know if I really like you. And Ella's like, that doesn't make sense. Like, if we've got a good thing going on, why do you need to uh, chat so to other girls? Why do you do that? Anyway, so he spent the day talking to this other girl and then now he's come to Ella and he's all talking about the new girl he's been talking to. Like, yeah, she's cool. And then he's looking at Ella and he's like, why is your face like that? And she's like, but why are you worried about my face? Like, why? Like he was trying to get a reaction out of her. She was mm. like, what's my face like? And then he's like, what? Like, what's your problem? And it's like, you know what you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's so entertaining. That's, that's, that's like some fuck loving there. Literally. Like, I'm not gonna lie. They've been comparing them to Sierra and um, Nelly. Nelly. Like the way they dress. Harry, you need yeah. to jump on season no, 10. Okay, Can't I lie. Might, from today, when I get home, He's not I'm going lying. to. I'm lying. You know, yeah. I'm going to I know this guys, boy, yeah. he's not going to. I'm not going to. PlayStation on. And on that, I've been your Miss Unproblematic, Marimusa the Great. And I've been your girl, Adiola Patron. You know the vibes already. And I've been HP like the source, Harry Panero. You already know, trying to get the Nero. Never have my bank account on zero. Oh my God. <laughs> Should be a rapper. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Peaches. Remember, you can listen to every episode of Pressed on BBC Sounds and be the first to hear more from us right here. Make sure you subscribe to the BBC Sounds YouTube channel.